Good afternoon. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent. Our presider is Monsignor Rich Hines, assisted by Deacon Shop. Our opening song can be found in your Advent music supplement on page three, Christ Our Light, page three. Please stand and join in singing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of God, the love of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. I'm happy to be in the area. I'm now living at the Bishop Lyon Residence for Retired Priests in Palos Park. So I'm nearby. It's good to be in the hood again. And, uh, for those of you who don't know, my senior Rich Hind, I used to be tall, dark, and handsome, and then I got older and shrunk. <laughs> and, uh, so at any rate, glad to be with you on this third Sunday of Advent. The scriptures invite us to Christ. Lord Jesus, you free us from the bondage of sin.
Lord Jesus, you heal what is broken. Lord Jesus, you clothe us in justice. May Almighty God forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, a garden makes its growth spring up. So will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. 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 My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul.
which he has sent away empty. He has come to be the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered him his promise of mercy. My soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Jesus Christ. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophetic utterances, test everything, retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, 
Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. My name is Monsignor Rich Hines. I was pastor here beginning last century, 1996, until 2007. So a wonderful, delightful 11 years. And I'm glad to be, as I said earlier, in the hood. I'll be in the neighborhood more often than the last 15 years. This occurred a, two years ago on this Gaudete Sunday the third Sunday of Advent. Mom, mom, he's wearing pink, my favorite color. I thought that was funny, it's not. <laughs> well, those who know how to dye cloth will use the word rose colored. The proper term for this third Sunday of Advent is Gaudete Sunday. The word means rejoice. And in the Latin, it's an imperative. When Paul writes it, even in Greek, it's an imperative. You got to do it. Rejoice. Thomas Aquinas, for him, joy is an operative habit for a Christian. It manifests evidence of a soul's charitable disposition and love of God. Evidence. Rejoice. Probably not many of you remember this, but I remember, I think it was McDonald's advertisement, where's the beef? Where's the evidence for you and I who follow Jesus Christ? Indeed, where we are inundated with bad news, and I think I, and perhaps you, need to take a smaller dose of the news. We got to pay attention. And we need to work at more opportunities for joy. I'll mention a couple. A journalist spent many years ministering to homeless men. One man grabbed his attention. Johnny was the quintessential hobo. He slept in bus shelters, carried his belongings in a shopping trolley, while his body was covered with steep st street grime. What stood out amidst the misery and emptiness of John's dog-eat-dog -dog world was his deep sense of respect for others, his warm, peaceful countenance with the other homeless men. This inner beauty seemed so incongruous, so confounding to the journalist. He posed a simple question. Johnny, your life isn't exactly a bed of roses. So why are you so content? Why are you so kind to others? After a quiet, thoughtful pause, Johnny turned and said gently, knowingly, 
God is very fond of me. This childlike knowing, as opposed to simply knowing about, is the essence of Christianity. It is at once deeply rational, yet also unprovable. An Oxford professor writes, my Christian faith consists not as a leap of faith into the unknown. It is an evidence-based commitment. Johnny's inner experience of divine affection ennobled him and shaped his interactions with others. I bring communion to a person here. She's 104 now. Some of you probably don't know her, and probably most of you, Sue Sikon. She was the first volunteer Father Bennett asked her to count the money at the rectory when it was over on, uh, near the tracks. A friend of mine showed me a, uh, a plaque that he picked up at the uh, monastery in Kentucky, the Gethsemane Monastery, and this is what, I'll read what the plaque says. But I asked Sue to re read it, not out loud, but to read it. I was kind of seeing, can she read words that make sense in her head, finding words to speak? Well, she's not great at that. So she read it and laughed out loud. Be the kind of woman that when your feet hit the floor each morning, the devil says, oh no, she's up. <laughs> she laughed. Our conversations are more about pictures and reasons to laugh. At a wedding this past year, and I was talking to the, uh, the bride's mom, and um, she told me this story that a long time ago, she started praying for her children's spouses. I didn't know who they were going to be. I didn't know their names. And she used a metric that I'm familiar with, the second half of the Hail Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for Kent's for Katie's future husband today and when he's most in need. She did that for each of her three kids. And um, they're all married now, lovely spouses. And Sandy was praying for them for 20 years without a name. She lifted up those individuals. speaking with a friend of mine. They have six kids, and the three older ones are beginning to date and looking towards marriage, and, uh, and Mike told me they pray, family, before any meal, and the spouses, the future spouses, are invited if they want. Well, this one future son-in-law, future husband, didn't join in. Two weeks ago, he asked, can I join in and pray with your family? Oh, you can know what Mike and Maria said. Of course. The evidence of being a Christian is found in kindness, sharing joy, inviting people into the faith, and making sure the elderly can laugh. It's a new year. Let's have a lot of evidence that we're Christian.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. For the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We rejoice always. We pray without ceasing. God is faithful and will grant our prayers. Our response will be sung. Child of For the church, that we may prepare the way of the Lord, removing obstacles that block the grace we receive from God. For the elected officials, that they will work to see justice and peace spring up in every nation. preparing to minister to us in song during the coming Christmas season, that they will be blessed and strengthened in their ministry. For those preparing for the sacraments of initiation, that their joy in experiencing the glory of the Lord may grow with each passing day. For the poor, the brokenhearted, prisoners and those held captive, that they may experience a year of favor from the Lord. For the parishioners of St. John of the Cross, that by rejoicing always and praying without ceasing, we may foster a spirit of joy within our families, friends, and neighbors. For the sick, including Ruth Fortini, Rita Munch, and those listed in our bulletin, that they may know recovery from illness and relief from pain. For those who have died, including Michael Suroy, Anthony Garvey, brother of Mark and Liz Doyle, that they may be clothed with a robe of salvation and welcomed into the everlasting life of heaven. For those we remember,
remember at this Mass, especially George and Gertrude Gallagher, Mary Lou Bush, Ray Rumley, Patrick Brogan, Gloria Chavez, and for those prayers we hold in the silence of our heart. Please join in singing number 451 on Jordan's Bank from your gather hymnal number 451. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold of Christ our Lord, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice 
at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring the disciples to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Archbishop, all the clergy, the vowed religious, and all those gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Ruby, I forgot to ask. Do we sing the Our Father? <laughs> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the disciples peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please join in singing number 458, Creator of the Stars of Night, number 458.
are false, and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We to the invocations, please respond. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith and joyful in hope and active in charity. Amen. 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 <laughs> so that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. As we're sent forth, please join in singing number 448. O come, divine Messiah, number 448. 